professional women, it's Mary Jervich of MaryJervich.com, guiding you to accelerated career progression and a life of abundance you truly enjoy. And in today's accelerated career planning tip video, I'm going to talk about how you can successfully negotiate your salary when given a promotion, especially if you've never negotiated before, or maybe you're fearful of looking ungrateful if you do negotiate. Now, as a career planning strategist, I've had the honor of helping numerous women earn promotions and raises on the spot year after year without losing their flexibility, burning out or changing jobs, allowing them to have more happiness, peace and freedom in their lives. And if that is something that you are interested in, I would love to personally invite you to attend my upcoming new and limited time live masterclass five shortcuts revealed for loyal women looking to confidently accelerate their career. The link is in the description below. Be sure to register today as we have a limited number of spaces and there will be a special live bonus for those who attend and show up live. Now, when it comes to negotiating your salary successfully, when given a promotion, it's important to understand what success is. So let's start with defining success in negotiation. Even the top negotiators don't always get what they want in a negotiation. And oftentimes we think success is getting everything that we want. And while we do want to walk away with what we desire, it doesn't mean that we've necessarily failed in a negotiation if we don't truly Failure in negotiation when it comes to your salary is not negotiating at all. I recently have done another video, the seven obstacles that stop us from negotiating. And if you haven't seen that video, I'm going to suggest that you check it out. One of the obstacles and what you may be feeling if you just got a promotion is you may be feeling happiness, which will prevent you from negotiating. You may also think that your boss has really went to the bat for you and they have given you the very best offer that they could. Well, the truth is, is that most people are given offers that their managers expect them to negotiate. 70% of managers expect you to negotiate. So you definitely want to negotiate if you get a promotion. Let's talk about a couple of different scenarios that may happen. First, let's just talk about the worst case scenario. You get a promotion, but you don't get any increase at all. Well, you absolutely need to bring this up with your boss. What is their intention? Why is it that you've been given more responsibility, a different title, but you're not getting an increase? Now, before you walk into their office and you, you go to have this conversation, I highly recommend that you find your market value. I've got another video for that, so you can check that out. And then you consider what frame you want to put around yourself. And I will have um, all the videos linked for these because there's different videos. If you've not seen these ones, you'll want to check them out. How to create your frame because you want to create a frame that says you are the perfect person and you are highly valuable. And part of that is knowing what you should be making and then being willing to go in and ask for it. And you want to do that. You want to advocate for yourself because if you advocate, then you have really nothing to lose. What's the worst that could happen if they've offered you no increase? You just still don't have an increase. So you should absolutely try. That's very low risk. Okay. The second thing that could happen is they've given you that raise, but it's not everything that you wanted. So what you should do is just ask your boss, is this negotiable? Now, if it is well below what your value is, you've given, been given this raise or promotion that's well below your value, you can just say that. Just say this, I'm very grateful, but I have to share with you that this is well below what I feel my value is, especially in this role. Is this negotiable? It's as simple as that. They're simply going to tell you it is or it isn't negotiable. Now, maybe the third thing happens and you have been given a very substantial raise. You have been given a very large raise and you are very happy right now. And you're thinking, wow, I do not need to negotiate this. This was very generous. I've never gotten this big of a raise. You have to understand that promotions are different than actual raises that just happen every year. So while you may be feeling like this was a really big increase, it could still be below what others made in that role or what others are making in that role currently. And so they may still be expecting you to negotiate. So you can just say, wow, 
This is fantastic. Be very genuine in your response. This is great. Thank you so much. I really appreciate y'all giving me this increase. This is going to make a true difference in my life. Be genuine about it, right? And then you can say, is this offer negotiable? So you are sharing with them like you are happy because here's the thing, whenever we're kind of in fear mode, right? Because what are we afraid of? We're afraid we're going to look ungrateful. We're going to look entitled. We're going to damage relationships. They may say, no, we're not going to give you the increase at all. These are the things that are going through our mind. These are these little fear um, thoughts that are going through our mind. But the truth is, is that they're not going to resend the offer. If they've given you the promotion, you have the ability. And honestly, if you're going into those higher level ranks, they want to know that you can negotiate because that's going to be part of what you do. You have to be strategic and you have to be able to negotiate. And when it comes to salary negotiations, they really aren't high risk and they really aren't hard negotiations. It's as simple as saying, is this negotiable? They'll say, yes, it is. Or they'll say, no, it's not. And then you'll have your information that you need from there. You can go ahead and tell them what you'd like. But that's where you have to know. You have to know what you want. What is that number that you're really looking for? Have you done your market research? Because you could tell them, hey, I've done my market research. And for people in this role with my level of experience and my education, they're making X number of dollars. Can we get closer to that? And they'll tell you yes, or they'll tell you no. And if they tell you no, you can just say, how high can you go? It's as simple as that. It really comes down to just thinking about the most logical question you can ask to get them to give you the information that you need. Because what you don't want to do is walk out of that room and have regret because all you had to say was, is that negotiable or how high can you go? Now that you're armed with these negotiation tips, I want you to go in and negotiate your promotions. And if you are looking for other negotiation videos, be sure to check out our playlist. We're going to be doing a full playlist on negotiation so you can be a rock star at negotiating. Now, if you're someone who's been on this path of career progression and you've been trying for a while, maybe you're still waiting for that promotion, but you just haven't had much luck but you're ready for some professional coaching, then I want you to register for the upcoming masterclass. Five shortcuts for loyal women to accelerate their career progression confidently. The link is in the description. I can't wait for you to attend live so I can share a special bonus with you. Now, if you like this video, then give it a big thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe so you'll be notified for future tip videos and share it with your friends. Thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next Accelerated Tip video.